is one of those things you have to see to believe a cheese rolling competition in southwest England that attracts people from all over the world to keep a long standing tradition alive. Participants chase cheese wheels down a very steep hill and this wacky competition has been going on since the 1800s. But this year a chiropractor from Ashland took a journey to England to compete. News Channel 3's Lisa Feinstein caught up with Dr. Dwayne Porter after his adventure. Cervical, thoracic, lumbar. The spine is a topic Dr. Dwayne Porter knows a lot about. As a chiropractor, his job is to realign spines. But his recent trip to England may have left him in need of a chiropractic adjustment himself. Cheese run, it's been done. Bitty, bitty, bitchy. We came, we saw, we conquered. Porter competed in the 2024 cheese rolling competition in England after seeing videos of it online. It looks fun. It looks dangerous. Um, you got to get out of your comfort zone. Um, I'm, I'm not a thrill seeker, so to speak, or per se. The videos of this traditional event beg to differ. Competitors having to climb the hill and tumble back down at full speed. And you climb up to the side and you literally have to climb on crawl on all fours to get up to the top of the hill. It's that steep. Once we get it, get there, I get up to the top and look over the edge. I thought, wow, that, that's uh, yeah, what I get myself into. So groups of 30 people at a time find their mark on the hill, get set and all go after one roll of cheese. They throw the cheese down the hill. It's about a seven pound wheel of cheese and it's, it's wrapped up in white paper and they let it go. It's going about 70 miles an hour. So you're not going to catch it, but you are chasing the cheese, so to speak. And the first one down at the bottom of the hill wins the cheese. You have to actually fight, nudge, push, shove like a rock concert, you know, just to get into the race. This competition has drawn thousands from all over the world since the 1800s. Porter met folks from Italy, Belgium, Germany, and Japan, but none from Ashland, Kentucky. I did not win. Um, wish I did, but I think I served our community well. I, I did not finish last. Porter says it was a crazy competition with no rules and a lot of beer drinkers. I told uh, a couple guys from Italy, the three guys, they said, uh, you know, how old are you? Because they saw I was not as young as they were in their 20s. And uh, I said, 63. And they said, you're going to need this beer far more than I am. After his trip across the pond, Porter says he may just have to do it again next year. Not all the way. It conquered me a little bit. Lisa Feinstein, WSAZ News Channel 3. How incredible. It, Dr. Porter finished 17th out of his group of 30. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, and he, he had a great time, obviously. The good mm -hmm. news is he only had a couple of bumps and bruises, Ooh, which we is were amazing. wondering how many people get a, a fracture. A lot of fractures that day.